Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Betters module 3 that is mathematics for ML and today we are going to solve assignment 3 that is matrix algebra. So let's get started and the first problem is find the inverse of the following matrix and the formula is very simple A inverse equal to 1 by delta A into adjacent A. So first we have to find out the delta A, then adjacent A, adjacent A means transpose of cofactor of A. So uh, for example, we have to find out A11 means we just have to close this first column and the first row. Uh, these values we have to find out that. Then that one is A11. Then to find out A22, we have to close this second column and the first row the remaining values we have to find out the date so this thing you already learned in your class 11 and 12 right so that's what we are going to do here i got the value 0 for this debt a that means i can't proceed further yeah if the determinant of the matrix is 0 then it will not have an inverse the matrix is then said to be singular only non-singular matrices have inverse so that's it uh, now we are moving to the second problem given a matrix find its eigenvalues here is also simple formula a minus lambda i here i is the identity matrix or you can just call unit matrix so this is what we got after that we are just going to solve them so you can use your calci to get these values lambda values these are eigenvalues now we are moving to the problem number three you are given three matrices a b c respectively this is a, a matrix b matrix and c matrix consider another matrix d equals to c a b if it exists find the value of d 2 2 so i just wrote all those matrix first you can see simply here this is 4 by 4 matrix this is 4 by 2 matrix so first we can just solve these two matrices right so that's going to be good yeah then here here you can see simply here row into column you have to do row into column row into column so if you do first row into column you'll get the values row into column row into column like that you'll be getting 4 cross 2 and that means 4 by 2 matrix 4 rows and 2 columns matrix here I'm just going to multiply this with this thing okay then here also we can just do multiplication because this is 4 cross 2 matrix here this is 2 cross 4 matrix yeah like jodi mil gaya so we can just do that and we got these values here d 2 2 means d is in the position second row and second column so second row and second column here minus 25 so these are very easy problems to be honest so if you can just do them very easily if you are from another background from different commerce or background we just have to uh, remember these formulas that's it uh, that's it for now if you have any doubts you can just mention them in the comment section below i'll definitely answer them and that's it for now. Meet you in next video. Till then. Bye-bye.